You're watching the Action Film Writer Series. Team Players. Screenplay by Rafe Eric Lawson. Fade In. Interior, basketball court, day. Rory Sheehan, early 30s, messed up hair, stands next to Chad Box Michaels, 30, large, square-shaped head. In matching uniforms, tattered and stained, wearing an Elko Elks logo. The men casually chat on the court. The sounds of a game in progress, the game they're supposed to be playing, are faintly heard in the background. Rory. Judy will give me the promotion. Box. She said that? Rory. Well, not exactly. But we're family now. And it's me you're talking about. An upstanding citizen with a clean criminal record, no history of violence, children, or violence against children. And you can't keep a good man down, Box. Trust me, that woman could keep any man down. Rory stifles a laugh. The game sounds get louder. An older player in a crisp, vivid uniform with a logo displaying the ink pads dribbles past on a fast break. Nathan Nate Dunleavy, 20s, lean and mean, also in a beat-up Elko uniform, chases after the opposing player, who makes an easy lay-in. Nate picks up the ball and smacks it. Nate to Box and Rory. Feel free to rejoin the game. Box. We're still playing, Nate. Just took a breather to gather our wits. Henry McNamara, early 40s, in a more worn Elko uniform with vintage 70s styling, jogs stiffly towards Nate, who passes it to him. Henry. Or in their case, what's left of them. Interior, Elko, mailroom, day. A large, cluttered room with lots of movement and traffic. Workers sort incoming and outgoing mail. Alicia Jolanta, 20s, Eastern European, somewhat masculine, sits behind a counter. She frowns when Rory and Box approach. Box, hey Alicia. Alicia, Eastern European accent. Alicia, get it right. Box, if your parents didn't, why do I have to? Alicia is about to stand up when Rory gets between them. Rory, whoa, 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 easy there, easy. Box, yeah, I was only kidding. I'm just looking for my mail. Alicia scoffs and slaps a pile of mail in Box's hand. Alicia, what you're really looking for can be found using the phone numbers on the back of these magazines you subscribe to. Rory's eyes go wide. Box plays innocent. Interior, Elko Sales Division Morning. A roomy, state-of-the-art space full of desk clusters. At one, Rory checks his email. The monitor displays 15 new messages. He claps his hands. Box looks up from his adjoining desk. Rory, sweet, 15 new emails. Box, why get that excited over them? Rory, each one's a possible sale. And cause messages are like presents. I love presents. Box sucks teeth. When on the computer, I'd rather look up certain celebrities naked. Certain celebrities on fire and certain celebrities naked and on fire. Sometimes I wonder how I'm able to keep a real job. Rory, <laughs> what you do is called a real job? Box, yes it is, honest. Okay, maybe not, but don't tell my parents. Henry comes in and makes a what are you doing motion. Box pretend to be hard at work. Henry to Rory, since neither of you are busy, Judy asked to see you, unlike anyone else not currently under observation in a mental ward. Interior, Judy's office moments later. A nice but messy layout with a hint of a woman's touch. Judy Bellinger, 31, president, as indicated by the nameplate, rummages through files on her desk. Judy is pretty, but haggard, and her aggravation only increases when Rory enters. He sports a boyish grin. Rory, sorry I'm late. I couldn't help but stop and admire that golf painting next to your door. Our office decorators have taste. Judy. You're taking a pretty big risk being such a wise ass after losing to the ink pads last night. <laughs>